welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will talk about the different types of statistics that we have i know that i have uh, told you that in the upcoming part of the video we will talk about data collection process let's wait for a while that will come in, in the next upcoming part of the video before that i believe that you should know that how many different types of stats that we have right the very first type is called as descriptive statistics as the name suggests descriptive means here by giving the data if suppose you i have provided you the data you need to provide to me the description of that data by saying the description what does that mean meaning that i am looking for some kind of a data analysis part where you can talk about the mean median mode wait a while i'll talk about all these words but whatever i am telling you in this particular session in the next upcoming part of the videos where you will see that we are talking about in very much depth every particular word which i am talking about but here to give you a gist that what are the different types of stats we have and what is included in the descriptive part of the stats and what is there in the inferential part of the stats that is what i want to give you in this particular session so whenever i am talking about descriptive we are talking about the description of the data now out of the descript whatever inference you will be able to get from the description part that will come under the category of a inferential stats where you are trying to make some sort of inference some sort of conclusion on the basis of what on the basis of the description that you already have been provided in the data that you have now let me go back to my board so here if you will observe whenever i am talking about something called as descriptive part of the statistics right descriptive part of the statistics so there you will observe that i am in a way talking about suppose i will be having a univariate variable so what what things i can talk about i can talk about what does its mean right what is its median what is its mode apart from that we will also talk about in the upcoming part of our videos in very much depth every aspect as i told you what is standard deviation right what is variance so all these things are pretty much important to understand even we will also talk about iqr which we call as interquartile range this is a description part suppose you will be dealing with a uh, two variables at a time bivariate kind of a data bivariate right so at that point of time you might have the knowledge of correlation covariance all these things are very important to understand we will try to make a proper plot of these stuffs in order to give the description of the data that we have similarly suppose you are dealing with multivariate kind of a data where there is a dependency on multiple variables at that point of time there comes a linear regression lines with the help of which you can show the descriptive analysis of your part even apart from that you can show the descriptive statistics with the help of the plots that are basically there for the visualization purpose i would say now how many different kinds of plots that we have or that we will going to study in our uh, sessions you may have you will deal with the box plot right then we may have bar plot bar plot i believe everyone knows histogram scatter plot so all these different kinds of plots are there etc so all these different kinds of plots are there which are basically helpful helpful to do the visualization part right so in this way apart from that how many null values are there how we will be able to calculate the outliers how many outliers are there so that comes under the descriptive portion of the data right now whatsoever analysis i will do on the descriptive part i will try to make the inference of that i will try to make the inference of that right that is something we called as inferential statistics inferential statistics so on the basis of i would say 
descriptive stats which you will do so that was the first step in this part we will be able to understand that descriptive portion with the help of descriptive descriptive part of the of the statistics we will be able to make some sort of conclusions or in other words some sort of inferences out of the description of the data and that part will come under the inferential statistics here we will talk about in the very later part of the videos about the hypothesis testing right that came under the category of and p value confidence interval that concepts will come under the category of a inferential statistics so our first focus is to talk about something which we call as descriptive statistics so in the next upcoming part of the video i will start to discuss step by step data collection process inside that itself we will be able to get how many different kinds of variable that we have how basically we will be able to summarize the data how basically we will be able to visualize the data all these steps we are going to study in our descriptive part of the statistics so these are the we have studied types of statistics right just to give you a brief gist of what i am saying here what i can do here i have opened a jupiter notebook here and there is already already a data which is present of a diabetic patients okay now i am considering a scenario where suppose i will be having a data of a diabetic patient what i can do first of all i can import the required python packages to import that so pandas is one of them import pandas as pd so pd is the alias name of that similarly i can import numpy as np right for the visualization purpose i will import it on later because i don't want to show you as of now i just want to show you the gist of what i am saying here what i can do is that i can say data is equals to pd dot this is the way to read the csv file right and the name of the, of the file is diabetes dot csv if i will just do data dot head here you will be able to get the topmost five records of the patients who are diabetic or who are not diabetic so here if you will see you will be having pregnancies glucose bp right and the last thing is outcome where the value one is indicating that a person is having diabetes and the value zero is indicating that the person is not having a diabetes on the basis of what factors on the basis of all these features which i am seeing for starting from pregnancies until the value of the age suppose now i want to see the descriptive part of this so what i can do is that i can say data dot describe data dot describe so if i will just call this here you will be able to see so many terms which all these terms are basically telling me the descriptive part of the data that which i am using here for example how many total count of unique values that i have here for pregnancy i am having 768 for glucose i am having 768 and so on what is the mean or the average of that what is the standard deviation of that i will talk about how basically we can calculate the standard deviation and what that basically signifies what is the minimum value in the given record what is the 25 percentile now here i will talk about when i will talk about the iqr interquartile range then i will talk about the concept of the percentiles which is completely different from the word percentage many people feel that these two are same words but that's not the correct assumption so 50 percentile is actually nothing but the median value 75 percentile and the maximum value this is something which i want to say is a descriptive part of the statistics that we have basically it is giving me the idea or the description of the features that i have now my purpose is to understand step by step what is the basic intuition behind each and every word which i have okay i know now this is the descriptive part but now the next objective is to understand what is the internal meaning of all these stuffs apart from that if suppose i want to see how many null values are there inside my data so what i can do i can there is a function called is null which will check and dot sum will give me the sum of the null values so here if you will observe there is no as, as such null values is, is present inside this particular data so in this way we will be able to see the description part of this particular thing and with the help of which we will be able to make the inferences in the later part of the video right so this is the overall idea which i want to give you all in this particular video okay now apart from this i hope that this part is pretty much clear to everyone right 
So in the next part of the video, I will talk about now the data collection process where now I will talk about different kinds of the variables that we have followed by we will talk about how, may, how basically we can summarize the data just like the table that we have seen just now in the coding part, right? What is mean? What is median? What is mode? At what point of time we should go for uh, mean as a metric? At what point of time we should go for median as a metric, right? Everything, internal intuition of everything is pretty much important to understand. So what I like about uh, th these stats part the most is that there is nothing here to, you know, cram about. Everything is logical. So if we will be able to understand the concept uh, easily, then we will be able to make an intuition behind each and everything what is happening internally, right? So with this, I would like to in this particular video, hope you will be able to get an idea now.